My little cupcakes, my little sweethearts, my little kitties, meow. What's up, it's Bree C, aka Bree Kitty, aka Bree Loves Makeup, anyway, Bree C, whatever you wanna call me. Today's video is about the worst last experience I've ever had in my fucking life. Because F my fucking life. Because I almost lost my beautiful lashes. I was doing, I was doing the most, that's why, so I was doing the most. So I'm pretty much, um, in every, other day wear I'll wear them for two days and then take them off and then put some new ones on. Um, I'll go a few days without wearing them sometimes, just wear mascara depending on, you know, the mood. So this time I figured I should get some individuals. I mean, I'm not going to say who, but they just convinced me to do it and they needed practice. So I was like, yeah, do it on me. I would love to get some. I'm, I'm ready. Because I was just tired of putting on, like, taking on and off my lashes every day. So first I did hers and they came out good. Before I even get into that, the type of glue that I normally use is Ardell um, or Duo Lash glue just in the little small tubes that you squeeze out. But the glue that we use for our lash extensions, which are the individuals, um, we use the Ardell Permanent Glue. And it's black and it comes in obviously. I, I put that glue on her because she said that's permanent glue, you know, you will you can wear them for two or three weeks. So I was like, cool. I, I would love to do that and be just take my makeup off and redo it every day. That'd be awesome. So I, I let her do mine. The first thing that caught my eye about this application slash glue slash lash, whatever you want to call it, is that the glue is not flexible whatsoever. But the glue makes the base really stiff, like this part or on this part of your lash. It makes it really stiff. So I really didn't like that about it. So right off the bat, I was just like, hmm, this is different, but okay, whatever. You know, did carry out, carry the, I can't freaking talk. Carried out my day. And so it was like nine or 10 o'clock at night. And I was just like, I don't want to lay down with these. I'm a hard sleeper. I know I'm gonna wake up and one's gonna be flipped up. And then I did realize that one of them was like more curled up and one of them was more straightforward. So I was having a flip flop going on. I had like this going on. And it, it wasn't like all the way flat. It was just like not curled up. And I actually liked the fact that it wasn't curled up because it looked more natural. This curled up looked more thick and heavy and it was cute, but if I'm gonna have lashes, I want them to match. So either they both need to be curled up or they both need to be straight. So I was like, uh-uh, I'm taking them off. So I used, I immediately used coconut oil. Mind you, I knew that I was already told that the glue is permanent and it doesn't really budge. And coconut oil, nothing can take it off, but Ardell lash remover. But I tried anyway, because I'm like, there's no way these are just all the way permanent. Like, there's no way you won't be able to get these off. Who will make something that you can't get off? That's stupid. I soaked my eyes in coconut oil. I was rubbing, 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 rubbing. I'm getting them off. I'm trying to get them off. They did not budge. They didn't move whatsoever. They didn't budge. They didn't move. Zilch, not a nothing. I was like, okay, what the fuck? So, I started finding other things that, you know, are oil-based or whatever. I even use a makeup remover and just totally remove my whole makeup because at that point I had oil everywhere and I was just a big ass mess. I did everything I could, you know, I even Googled a shit ton of shit and they were like steam and showering and all this. So I got in the shower for like a whole hour, I swear to God. And I even had it on the hottest, hottest, hottest setting. And I just put my face under it. I didn't care. I was like, this burns a little bit, but you know, I didn't get these shits off. I need to get these holes off. So I let the water hit my eyes and it just, it wasn't coming off. Like, I was very upset. So I was like, I'm going to my mom's house. She can help me. Like, I'm freaking out. I'm about to rip these shits off. So I'm like, I'm gonna go to my mom's house. So I went to my mom's house. I was upset. I wasn't crying or anything, but I was on my way to my mom's house and pretty much they were laughing at me. <laughs> Because we were just like, what the fuck, I can't get these hoes off, like, this shit is made out of plastic, like, what the fuck is this, why did I even think, it? I was just going off, like, you know, and then it's laughing at me, like, because <laughs> I'm freaking out. So, my mom's trying to help me, and she's looking up stuff, I'm like, mom, I already looked it up, there's no oil, they can get these off, stop trying to pull oil out the kitchen drawers, there's nothing, can, they can get them off. And I'm just, like, fed up, and I'm annoyed, and it's, like, two hours later that we were trying to get these off, these lashes off, so... I mean, she ended up going to the store because I was just like, 
upset because the stuff that she ended up using when it got in my eye was freaking burning the fuck out of me so i was like no nah, i can't do this so she went to the store and i told her that the only place you get it is salads but she didn't listen to me so she went to walmart they didn't have the original like white bottles of um lash remover they didn't have it and i already knew that but they did have a kit that has the glue and the remover, like a little tiny little mini kit with a little small see-through bottle of glue and remover. So we tried that, got it in my eye, fucking burned. I was like, fuck no, I'm not doing this. And she had just bought it. I started getting like upset, crying a little bit. So I was like, uh-uh, I can't do this, mom. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. Like there's nothing that's gonna take them off and I'm not gonna keep fucking burning my eye. I'm not about to keep just sitting around and the later and later get least the amount of sleep that I'm gonna freaking get. And so I was like, Whatever, and I had work the next morning too. So I woke up at like seven, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep because I was like, the store opens at eight, might as well get up. Didn't even put makeup on or anything. I looked a hot ass mess. To go get like three fucking bottles of fucking remover because they're so tiny hell. And I knew this shit wasn't coming off, like they weren't gonna budge. I left my mom's house that night to go back home. I was crying so hard. I was belligerently crying. And I was like, I'm I can't believe it's what's happening to me. I was like Kim Kardashian crying. As soon as I was pulling out of my mom's um, apartment complex, this half all the way to the corner fell off. And I was, I was like. <sighs> Put the oil on my eyes. I let it sit. I scrubbed them with a Q-tip or cotton balls or whatever. And they finally started to break apart. I was so happy. I don't understand how relieved I was. And then I looked and I only lost 10 lashes. There's a little bulb, there's a little bulb. Cause you can tell which ones are your real hairs because they have a little white bulb on the end of them. I'm probably never gonna get individual lashes ever again. Like, not with permanent glue. Like, I'm never gonna use permanent glue ever again, not on myself. Like, there's people out there that really want it and they, cause they want their lashes to, you know, last like three or four weeks, which is really long time. But if you use that glue, I promise you, you can last three freaking weeks too much it's too much i have a remedy for you i have a way that you can remove them easier quicker without having to take hours and hours and hours and lose hair so what you do is you get the ardell um glue remover um in the little white bottles and then you soak your eyelashes so you want to put it on the top and the bottom with a q-tip or um a cotton swab whatever you want to do like let it sit like drench them in the oil like when you get a Q-tip, get two Q-tips, dip it, and like even rub back and forth, back and forth on your lashes to kind of loosen them up and leave for five to 10 minutes. After that's been set for five to 10 minutes, get some black castor oil. You can get it at Walmart, Target, um, the beauty supply store, uh, local beauty supply store, and soak your lashes in the castor oil too. Same thing, rub, rub, and they will come off quicker, easier. All right, loves, I hope that this helped you. I know that y'all are probably freaking out. Freaking Google trying to find um, how to remove Ardell permanent lash glue. And I hope you get them off. Good luck to everybody trying to find ways to get them off and just trying to seek more information about lashes, Ardell glue, and all that, Ardell lashes, and all that good fun stuff. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.